Pickles. Oh no, Pickles is pink. Oh no, we have to get that one. Why is Pickles pink? I've never seen that happen to a randomly generated dog. Uh, that is so cute. I'm not even going to bother picking another option. We're getting the pink dog. This is Charity, and if you don't know, on this 100 Baby Challenge, we're actually racing against an NPC family, the Munch family. Wolfgang Munch had five children with his first wife, and they are all teenagers now. His second wife, Billy Munch, has had an infant. So that brings the total for the Munch family up to six. Now back to Zero Sparks. Welcome to the first episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. Well, the prequel is over, and now Zero Sparks needs to start working on 100 babies. So I've actually updated her house a little bit. The upstairs now has an area with three bassinets, which is required in order to get pregnant. Okay, Zero befriended a nature enthusiast. Nature enthusiasts are passionate about the natural world Sims live in, which can make them super fun Sims to hang out with, especially outdoors. In terms of Sim preferences, would you say Zero likes nature enthusiasts? I have to say yes. But I, that is kind of random because I wasn't even talking to anyone unless it counted my boss. Okay, well, it could also count our first baby daddy. But I don't know why it asked it now because he's been gone for some time now. So we're just working on robotics right now. And what we're trying to do is build a servo. I have actually moved the workshop out here. So she has the nice workshop, the desk. And the area in here has the cribs and the play mats. I'm anticipating twins, but I don't think triplets are likely because I just seem to never get triplets. But we'll worry about that when we actually have the babies as to whether or not we need to purchase a third crib. So downstairs, I've actually figured out a cool pattern for the kitchen floor. I couldn't get it to look right and I really hate the default pattern for this, but I like the color scheme. So I like this one. Let me know in the comments if this one is a lot better. I think it is. And then we went with the solid green flooring for the bedroom. And this is a spare room now because we actually have Zero's bed upstairs. So Zero is going to stay upstairs with the infants and newborns and actually toddlers when we have them. And then downstairs, we will have all of the children's rooms and teen rooms. Where are we going to put them, you ask? Well, we might put them in the basement. For right now, I have this secret hidden ladder that goes down into the basement from the garage. And we might be storing a few gnomes down here. So this will make Harvest Fest more interesting. Every time we get new gnomes, I'm just going to put them down here. Another thing I've been doing lately is I have a series based on the Rosa's House Flipper Challenge. And we're going to do random quests. And those random quests are actually based on another series called A Day in the Life of Mr. Bumble. Now, I think this brings a little bit more interesting challenges to do for gameplay because you get to almost double your money or lose all your money if you fail or complete the quest. So for today's challenge, I have drawn movie night in, must make popcorn and watch at least two movies with the family. Free popcorn maker and cheapest TV if you don't have them. However, I don't think that we'll be doing the free stuff because we don't need to wait for things to arrive from Simazon. So I'm just going to require myself to actually buy the things that are required for the challenge. So there's our popcorn maker. And we actually already have a TV, so we should be good there. I did swap it out for this TV because I enabled live edit objects and debug objects. It's a quirky little TV, but it's supposed to be modern. I don't know why. Why is this TV considered modern? And nothing else in the TV category is considered modern. That just doesn't make any sense, but whatever. So while Zero is banging away, we'll try and make some popcorn and watch a movie later. Unfortunately, we can't watch a movie with the family because we don't have the kids yet. Maybe we should invite over the dad. I mean, it's just to watch popcorn and I do need to take another picture of him because unfortunately I took a large photo and I don't really want large photos. I think I'm going to need small photos because there's going to be a lot of photos. Okay, we still need eight more mechanisms. Hey Zero, Takuya Ogawa has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Yes, we will be saying yes to all of the neighborhood stories, questions. We want people to have families and we will not be breaking up any families in order to do our 100 baby challenge. Also, I discovered I don't have to have a bad reputation in order to further my career. 
For some reason, she has the option to negotiate bonus with boss, which actually greatly increases my performance. And I'm not sure what that's from. Maybe it's because she has a university degree and she graduated with honors with a distinguished degree. I don't know. I'm not sure how long the movies will last. So we'll go ahead and invite over Isamu and get started on the movies now. I think he's still a university student. Yeah, university homework. Okay, well, yeah, university students are adults. I keep forgetting that. I think they're teenagers for some reason. We'll cook some popcorn and watch a couple of movies. Okay, how do you tell him to stop posing? I guess I did this before, but I have no idea how. Well, I guess I could just move it in build mode. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually eat the popcorn first and then watch the movie. Because whenever I watch the TV season premiere, they never finish the premiere if they're eating something. And that is so annoying. Um, yeah, he just flirted with me for some reason. I thought that I had asked him to just be friends. Do I have to do that again now? Okay, let's ask him to just be friends because we don't want him to get upset with us when we start dating other people. Okay, we'll watch a movie. Let's watch College Cram. Okay, I'm eating popcorn, so hopefully I can watch this movie and finish it even though I'm eating popcorn. We'll see. Okay, this time she didn't stop and put the bowl away. Whenever I do this normally, they will stop and put the bowl away and clean it up and then stop watching whatever it is they're watching and then they have to start all over again. I guess that doesn't apply for movies, which is good. Hey, if you're not going to eat your popcorn, I'm going to eat that bowl. Oh, great. Now she's flirty. She's probably going to flirt with them again because they still have a little bit of romance, but they're supposed to be just good friends. Okay, it just stopped for some reason. Is it over? Okay, it's over. All right. Let's use the bathroom and make some coffee. There's already some coffee. Oh, she doesn't like the popcorn because it's only normal. I've got a lucrative opportunity for someone who doesn't ask too many questions. I need you to hold on to a stack of simoleons I'm planning to launder until the trail turns cold. Sure, it may not be legal or moral, but it'll help line your pockets. You in? Um, I guess, because unfortunately I ruined my reputation and now I'm going to get those types of calls. No, we're not going to go outside and chat with someone. You can go away. You and your Hawaiian socks. Okay, we have fixed her outfits. That is much better. I finally got around to saving some outfits with MC Command Center. And now I can just change all of the stupid outfits that people start wearing to nice outfits. Which I probably should have done that for Asamu. No, don't go, don't go. We have to watch one more movie. Come on, it's only 9 p.m. You can stay just a little bit longer. Let's hurry up and watch one more movie. Okay, he's leaving still. Great. Oh, well, we tried. He doesn't technically count as family, so I guess we don't have to count him. I only invited him over so I didn't have to watch the movie alone. All right, it's after midnight, and we get to spin the winning wheel for watching two movies. And we got 2%. Okay, so we get 2% of 4,120 which is a whopping 82 simoleons. That didn't even cover the cost of the popcorn maker. All right, let's make some more servo materials and then we can see what the quest for today is going to be. And we got number 30, which is adopt a dog. Okay, that will be fun. Okay, work is actually in nine hours, so we need to take a day off because we're never going into work. Let's see if calling in sick works. If that doesn't work, then I can just take a vacation day. And I still need three more mechanisms. Okay, so calling in sick actually worked. Okay, we're going to adopt a dog. Now, the way I'm doing the 100 baby challenge is that extra sims added to the household, such as dogs and servos, don't count. So I will increase the household size, one for the dog and two for a servo if we get one. Pickles, oh no, Pickles is pink. Oh no, we have to get that one. Why is Pickles pink? I've never seen that happen to a randomly generated dog. Uh, that is so cute. I'm not even going to bother picking another option. We're getting the pink dog. Oh, and look who it is. The adoption agent is Clement. He's from the Super Sim series. I also have this series set up to pick random Sims from my library in order to replace the random townies and hopefully get better outfits that way. Oh, that is so adorable. 
I'm not sure if I should keep the name Pickles, but that is definitely the dog for us. Yeah, I'm not even going to introduce myself and find out his traits. We're just adopting that dog. That puppy is so cute. Pickles. Um, but he's not green. Pickles is just a, I don't know, it's a silly name. Bubblegum. Okay, now that is a better name. Little Bubblegum. Okay, now let's find out what his traits are. Yeah, you can leave Clement. Wait, 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 wait. We've got to introduce ourselves to Clement because he actually happens to be uh, a father winter. We may need to use him as a baby daddy. Let's find out if he's single. No, tell me if you're single first. Don't go. Not yet. Oh, come on. Okay, at least I introduced myself. Maybe I can ask him later. Okay, he's an active hunter and he's hairy. Oh my gosh, look, he has two different eyes. I'm sorry, that is so adorable. He has one yellow eye and one blue eye. I, that is the most random puppy I have ever seen. Okay, right now you're a puppy, so we need to carry you upstairs. Although I'm not sure how that will work for going to the bathroom. This is actually going to be so adorable with infants anyway that I'm glad we have a puppy. I wish that we could wait a little bit longer though because they're, we don't have the infants yet and he will probably grow up first because they're not puppies for long. Okay, I guess we can go back to the mechanisms. And of course our bills came. Now I'm not sure how I feel about using these quests in order to earn money, but I think there are going to be some methods of earning money that are not going to be good enough so maybe it will be okay besides if you don't have the money as the incentive what is the incentive to do the quest okay bubblegum wants to play with a ball we'll get him a ball i'd like to try and play fetch with him but i don't think it will work up here and i don't really want to go downstairs right now and of course he's eating now okay. here's the ball so you want a ball i only need one more mechanism Bubblegum is really happy to have that ball, although it looks like it's bigger than he is. Okay, we can craft the servo, but we need four electronic upgrade parts and some salvage parts. Okay, finally starting on the servo, but I think this takes a really, really long time. Okay, let's see if he can go potty out here, because I don't know if this is considered outdoors. Probably not, actually, because it has a roof. Okay, we'll have to take him downstairs. They should have some kind of pet paper. It would make sense if it was raining that you wouldn't take a puppy outside. You let them go inside on paper. And there he goes. Good job, Bubblegum. And he also pooped. Okay, time to go back inside. No, don't put him there. Put him upstairs. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this was going to be a cat family or a dog family at first, but I think the wheel decided for us. Unless later on we also get the adopt a cat option. I do have 191 options, so it's unlikely that we will get both of those. Oh, he's still hungry? I have this set to every six hours, which is the default. Um, maybe I just should just change it to every hour. No, you're not hungry. You are full. He's not a glutton either. I don't know why he was trying to eat food or he was looking at the food bowl. Oh, good. Your date went very well. Oh, now he's married. Isamu is now married. I did not expect that, but we had a baby with him before he got married. And I don't know why, but his last name says, I'm AI. Uh, I, I think that's just a coincidence though. Yes, Bubblegum, do you need something? Your food is full now. His needs are all full. So I'm just going to let him play with the ball. I have the controllable pets mod, which allows me to watch his needs. And that's very important for the puppies because I want them to sleep upstairs with me, but they can't climb down the stairs to go potty. Yeah, we got 3,198 simoleons today. And we're going to be able to double that at the end of today. Our reputation is improving, but that's okay. We don't need it to be a bad reputation anymore. We can be a good sim now. It says lecture about barking, but I really don't want to lecture him for that. You can bark all you want, as long as you don't wake me up. I know we're going to have that conversation eventually. Oh, he's hairy. I've got to remember that. He needs to be brushed. Where is my option to brush him? You can't brush a puppy? Nope. Oh, Isamu wants a new job. Sure, you can have a new job. He's hairy. Why can't I brush the puppy? Is it because he's playing with the ball? Or maybe because I don't know him well enough? Oh, such a cute puppy. Apparently, it looks like I cannot. Oh, well, you'll just have to have hairballs until you get older. 
not even halfway done with the servo and I'm pretty sure that she's going to go into labor soon. Oh no, third trimester in four hours. So we have one more day. And what about work? Work is in 15 hours. So we should probably take a vacation. Don't play video games. Finish your coffee and take a vacation day. I thought you could talk on the phone while you were drinking coffee. I guess not. I'm pretty sure you can talk on the phone and pee. No, she's not multitasking. Oh well. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, you don't need to go potty yet, but when you do, I will help. Oh, now he wants to go potty. Okay. Okay, who kicked over my trash can while I was gone? And I don't have the option to pick it up. I hate this. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to have this problem again. More people dying because of the cold. You know, I really hate turning off the temperature effects on Sims, but I just cannot have a whole bunch of people dying and locking up my game like that. Now, don't eat trash. I should put my outdoor trash can inside. The only thing is I really don't have enough room for it. Well, temporary solution is to put it in the garage and only allow zero in there. Oh, don't lick the puddles either. Okay, we'll start requesting good stories because I think that will make it easier when we meet people. I really don't want him drinking from puddles because drinking makes him need to go potty more. I mean, it is The Sims. He's not really drinking his pee. He's just drinking a puddle and they don't get sick from that. All right, it's after midnight. We can spin the winning wheel. Okay, 29% is a little bit better. That's about 1,517. Okay, and today's quest is to get gold on a slumber party. Okay, hopefully an adult can have a slumber party. Okay, an adult can be a Sim. And I guess we'll invite all our girlfriends. Except for maybe not Gemma. She's a goofball. I don't want her pranking my toilet. Okay, a slumber party should be overnight. So I'm not sure how that's going to work exactly. We'll schedule it for... Oh, wait a sec. I have to check and see how long it is until the uh, baby is born. Okay, birth today. Okay, I think we should just go ahead and have the slumber party now, as weird as that is. Oh, actually, it's 1 a.m., so that does make sense. Let's have the slumber party now. Okay, get some sleep. Um, okay, so that actually might be something that we want to do. Although, I'm not sure if everyone will bring their own sleeping bags. Oh, ask guests to set up sleeping bags. That's awesome. Okay, I got it. Yeah, we're not going to have snacks because they won't be good quality food. Why doesn't everyone just grab some popcorn? Okay, we need to be chatting at the same time, playing games, and eating. So we'll try eating first because that should be easy. I want to get rid of this popcorn anyway. Okay, so everyone is chatting. Okay, everyone is dancing. Why are we not getting credit for that? Okay, everyone's set up the sleeping bags because I know that one is the main goal. And if we don't do that, then we won't get credit for this. Okay, everyone set up your sleeping bags. Yeah, you might have to go outside. Sorry about that. Okay, that is not going to work. Maybe I should have move objects off when I do this. Okay, let's see how telling a story goes. How long does this last? 11 hours. Wow. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, I can... Oh, it worked, but it was just very quick. No, unfortunately, you can't have coffee. Okay, let's try telling a story to the two who are actually down here with me. Don't go upstairs. You're not going to get that coffee. I know you want it, but you can't have it. We're actually going to sleep tonight. Oh, and she didn't even sit on her sleeping bag. She sat on Morgan's. Okay, and then we're going to play games and then do a sleeping bag prank. Hmm, I wonder how we do that. After this one, I think we're going to just have everyone go to sleep. Play cards. Why are you talking? Don't talk. Just play cards. Okay, there's three of us playing. Why does it say only two of us are playing? Okay, well, stop that anyway. It's time to get some sleep. Oh, that's all I had to do is say it's time to get some sleep. I didn't have to actually sleep. All right, well, that's gold. Everyone go home now. I wanted to get that done and over with before my babies are born. Oh, the puppy needs to go outside now. Yeah, the frustrating thing is he keeps telling me he needs to be brushed, but I cannot brush him. Why? Yeah, I'm sorry it's raining. Come back outside. I think you have to go potty. And he learned to pee outside as a puppy. And of course he comes inside. Yeah, sorry about that. It's raining and The Sims doesn't provide dog paper. Although I guess he could go outside here on this porch because I think that's still considered outside. And he could pee not in the rain. Hmm, I did not think about that. Okay, let's try to get some of this servo done before we go into labor. 
Okay, I'm not sure what he wants now. He's completely full, happy, and doesn't have any other needs. So he's just sitting there waiting for me to do something. He even has enough attention. And I earned $3,100 on my day off. We should get a vacuum, though. There, that's better. Oh, Osama got his new job. And he's a coffee stain remover at the Frothy Foamer. He wanted to be a barista? Okay. I don't know that anyone would ever consider that their dream job. Sure, it pays the bills and some people might like it, but a dream job? Again, he needs to pee again? Great. I am this close to being done with the servo, but of course, we have to go take him to go potty. Oh, I can activate it now, so I am done with it. No, 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 no. Don't put him down there. Okay, good. At least she picked him back up. And I think that he will just go potty on his own. I don't need to tell him but he does need to be able to get outside. Oh, it's raining. Sorry, I, it was not raining when I put you down. Yeah, you're going to go back outside and go potty, aren't you? Yep. No, don't play in the puddle. You're going to get dirty. You're such a good dog, though. You can bark all you want. And you can put your feet up on counters. Just don't lick puddles and don't play in puddles and don't wake me up. Why didn't you finish peeing? You still need to pee. Oh, you've gone into labor now. All right, let's take the puppy upstairs. You broke the sink. Well, I'll fix that later. Or maybe the servo can fix it. Let's take the puppy back upstairs where he can eat. Activate the servo. And then we'll go have the babies. We'll have a female servo. Okay, come on, hurry up. Servo bot. Okay, we need to name her. Okay, how about Lilith Sparks? Lilith seems to enjoy the creative marvels that robotics brings. Should she gain the likes robotics preference? Um, yeah, she's a robot. Well, that's easy. Okay, we'll allow Lilith downstairs, but I think when the babies are born, I'm going to have to restrict her to just downstairs. Let's go ahead and have the babies at the hospital. I kind of want to do hospital births because I get the birth certificate, but at the same time, I don't really want to have everyone go to a rabbit hole all the time. But since this is the first one, we'll definitely do the hospital. No, I said have baby a hospital, not have baby. Why did she just go to have the baby? Did I click the wrong thing? Yeah, I clicked have baby. Where's have baby at hospital? Is it too late? Okay, there it is. Hopefully I did not glitch it. Yeah, everyone can just stay here. We'll go alone this time. Zero has been feeling really cheerful lately. Things are going well and Zero doesn't have a care in the world. Embrace the change? Cheerful? Okay, I guess we get to be cheerful too. Even though I'm very uncomfortable right now. And she goes directly to the birthing station. Yeah, we are a little bit late. Now don't clean things, just go have the baby. Oh, we're going to the second operating room this time. I've never been in this operating room, to be honest. I always end up in this one over here. Okay, that was quick. What happened? <laughs> Do you need to go home? Okay, I'm going to go back to the other operating now. Okay, we had a change of the guard during my labor. Okay, and look who it is. It's Brody Tolbert. He's a doctor. For those of you that don't know, Brody is actually the lead character in another series for house renovations. Okay, it's a girl. Our firstborn is going to be named Una. And our second born is going to be called Paris. It's another girl. And we became a parent. Yeah, since I finished my other aspiration, I actually chose a super parent aspiration. I'm allowed to change it as long as I finish one first. Where are you going? Don't go clean something. That's what I hate about neat sims. Okay, now we can go home. First, change this outfit. Why can't I travel? Or go home? Okay, come on, go home. This is a problem. Well, luckily I had the servo and I can switch control to her because for some reason, Zero Sparks was not coming home. Okay, game loading is in progress. I can't bring her here. Oh, that's a problem. And of course I zone in and she's cleaning something. Travel. Why can't you travel? Why can't you go home? Okay, this time at least she looks like she's going home. Okay, hospital births might be bugged. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that very much. Okay, it's 1.59 a.m. That wasted a lot of time, but we get to spin the winning wheel. And we get 62%.
which is about 5,607 simoleons. And our quest for today, this actually only applies to the house renovation. It says repair, clean, and make an entire room functional that was not finished before. Bonus 1,000 simoleons to get you started. Yeah, we'll just roll again since that doesn't apply to this series. And we have 162, which is buy an outfit from Trendy. Oh good, you are actually fixing that. I didn't even have to tell you. So now we have a lot more people in the household that we needed to keep track of. Namely, the robot and two infants. Well, and two newborns, I should say. So the goal is to speed run Una as fast as possible. And we will get to Paris eventually, but we need to try and get an infant in the house as quickly as possible so that we can try and speed run the infant to toddler. So maybe we can space these two apart a little bit. Now the rules I'm using for the 100 baby challenge are a little bit different than the traditional rules because I don't think that it's fun to keep newborns around and basically once I make good friends with them, the mother has bonded with the newborn and we can age them up, especially now that we have infants. And infants last for four days and it's going to be almost impossible to finish their milestones in four days. Okay, and you need to do something other than watch TV. Okay, it must be feeding time. And it's Winterfest. No, don't go downstairs to wash your hands. Okay, that's fair. The one upstairs is broken. Still, why can't you change the newborn's diaper on the changing table? I mean, it's right there. Okay, puppy needs to go outside. Did that food spoil as I ate it? Whoops. Um, yeah, that's not my fault. It wasn't spoiled. Okay, I don't know why it said he had to go potty because he doesn't really. Okay, can praise, pet, hug, hold up cuteness, give treat, get to know, talk to, and send hunting. But I don't really see any option to play with him. Maybe because he's just a puppy? Okay, this ball is chewed out. Okay, we'll give you a new ball. I guess you can't play with puppies, which is kind of funny. All I can do is give him attention, and he doesn't need attention right now. Quit holding Una. Go deal with Paris. It's so annoying how they would randomly pick up a baby and hold the baby and not do anything with the baby. Apparently Una is not hungry, but Paris was. So this is going to sound crazy. I know we're friends and all. Well, okay, here it goes. I have a crush on you. Phew. Okay, it's out there. Um, so would you want to go out with me sometime? You're super cool. I really want to hang out with you more. No, Isamo, you got married. Let's just be friends. I hate how Sims will do that who are married. They should not do that. Or at least very rarely do that. Why are you all the way over there? No, don't go talk to people. I should lock the door so you can't get out. <laughs> she keeps going out and talking to people. Her social's not low, but her durability and charge are, are low. So I don't want her to break. Okay, finally we're good friends and we can age her up. I don't think I'm going to have any kind of party for the newborn aging up because they can't eat cake. And we are going to be Sunny, our first newborn. And she's already hungry. Okay, now as quickly as possible, we need to get her to toddler because it would be nice if we didn't have two infants for too long because Paris is going to age up whenever her birthday arrives. At least that is the goal. She's sort of tired though, so I will put her to sleep first. Oh, and she doesn't like it when Paris is crying. Come on, put her down. Stop crying. I know she's crying, but I can't help her until I put you down. No, don't check infant. Just change the baby's diaper. Okay, try go night-night, and the puppy will probably wake you up. Let's check Trendy. They should show you what the outfit looks like, but I don't see a way for you to see what the outfit looks like. So she likes streetwear, basics, and rocker, but I don't see any rocker available. There's streetwear, rock steady. Maroon fur style jacket, comfy red and black plaid pants, black boots, and a black studded bracelet. Great outside. Um, tiger cover tracksuit, matching tree. No, we don't want that. Um, also, I don't know if these are male or female outfits. Made to last. Comes with a cute floral flannel, an orange crop top, black shorts, and some black shoes. Cropped hoodie and artfully distressed jeans make for a cute, comfy collection that any sim will look good in. Um, I guess the rock steady one. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, the red plaid pants are only plaid on one side. Um, yuck. 
Sorry, I don't like that. Maybe it's a style, but that, this is horrendous, actually. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it, it's not too bad. Okay, it, 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 it's kind of growing on me a little bit, but uh, maybe this is a party outfit just because it's so, oh, that furry jacket. That's what I just don't like, the furry jacket. If the pants were plaid on both sides instead of just one, and they didn't have the jacket, then I think this would be an okay outfit. I just don't like that fur, and I don't like the one-sided pants. But anyway, if you're shopping trendy and you make an outfit and you put it on, it's kind of annoying that it doesn't go into your permanent outfits. So if you would like that to happen, you can go to MC Command Center, MC Dresser, copy paste, copy outfit, copy accessories, and then see you're wearing a special. So you need to take the outfit off. So I remove my outfit. Oh, this laundry day is kind of annoying. And then go to MC Dresser, Outfit Commands, and add outfit to category. But actually, I don't want this to be an everyday outfit. I'm not wearing this for my everyday outfit. I'll add it to the party outfits. So first I'll change my outfit to party. And then this is the category that it will add it to. So outfit commands, add outfit to category, and then go back to copy paste. Well, first let's go to change outfit and make sure I'm not changing the one I don't want to change. Okay, yeah. So this is the randomly generated one that it made. So I'm going to copy paste and I want to paste outfit. Why is that? Okay. All right. This is what it pasted. That is not what I wanted. Okay. Uh, let me uh, wear the outfit again and copy it again. I don't know why it did that. Okay. I finally got it to work. Don't ask me how or why it wasn't working before, but you go into MC Command Center and go into MC Dresser, go into Copy Paste, copy outfit, copy accessories, and then you have to change the outfit to the one you want to paste it to in here. I guess you can't do the remove from the trendy bag because maybe that's what glitched it. But anyway, this time I was able to copy the party outfit in here. So now my sim has two party outfits, which I'm just going to always use this one. I might occasionally let her wear this if she actually chooses it, but yeah. Yeah, it still has the option to remove outfit. So what happens if I do that? It just makes a pile of clothes, which she complains about. Okay, we'll get another cup of coffee. And we need to open presents and have a festive spirit. Uh, no, we're not trolling the forums. Are you happy puppy? Is that why you're barking? You're being a good puppy though and not waking up the infant. Now, normally I would think about getting pregnant again, but oh, what's wrong with you? All of a sudden you got red. Why are you uncomfortable? Are you just afraid of something? Oh, you need to go potty? You, you don't re- Okay, a little bit. You didn't when I looked at you a little bit before. Okay, I'll take you downstairs. Oh, so cute. All right, but we bought our outfit from Trendy. Now we're going to open a present. Just one present. Yes, Caleb. Okay, you want to get to know Envy? Achara better as a friend? Sure, you can hang out with someone. Why do you ask me? Um, she must have gotten a crappy present. A lump of coal. Oh, she's sad about that. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll wash our laundry. Well, the holiday is complete. Okay, you should wake up so I can repair you. Now, eventually the servo will learn to do this on her own, but for right now, I need to do it. Okay, I think that's all we need to do, really. As soon as the infant gets rested up, though, we will work on milestones. Oh, and there's Father Winter. Let's go get a present. Oh, he doesn't like me. A Florist Dreams gardening tools. Okay, now time to dry the clothes. Who was flirting? Was someone flirting with Father Winter? I didn't catch who did it, but someone flirted with Father Winter. Father Winter is flirty. Maybe he tried to flirt with me? Okay, we'll take the puppy back upstairs. And it looks like the infant is up. And Una loves wake up time. Okay. We got to make sure to take care of the infants because they don't count as 100 babies unless they avoid the negative traits. Now, I'm not going to require that they get the positive trait, uh, except for maybe the confident one. Why is she crying? Don't cry. Eat your food. Put you to sleep. And then we got to go change the baby's diaper. This is going to be really hard to get to anybody's milestones while I have two little ones like this. 
Okay, fine. You can go. What's that? Yeah, you should go night night. We'll feed you and hopefully we can get you both max needs. Oh, we need to fill the dog's bowl again. And you were supposed to be a dog now. I think puppies don't last that long, but for some reason, this dog is not grown up yet. It happens every once in a while where the puppies will get bugged and they'll be a puppy for five days instead of just two. Well, that's the end of Wednesday. So we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 71% which gives us another 11,080. Now we have 26,000 simoleons. And yeah, this is an easy way to get simoleons because you can just almost double your money every day. However, you have to consider the fact that eventually we're going to run into one of the impossible quests. And I gotta look for this urn over here because this guy keeps popping up as a ghost. I forgot to destroy his urn. But anyway, once we get one of those impossible quests, we're basically going to lose all our simoleons. Okay, for our next quest, it says randomize to a new aspiration and complete a milestone. That's unfortunate because I really wanted this aspiration to be completed. Okay, so if I randomize to a new aspiration, then I have to completely finish that aspiration before I change it to another one. And the one that I got was Creativity Musical Genius. So I've already listened to music for two hours. I need to practice music for six hours, which I've done one somehow. When did I ever practice music? Oh, the violin. That's right. Well, get another violin. So I need to spend five hours practicing the violin today. I'm going to lose five hours. And I don't really have a lot of energy. Let's check for Winterfest gifts. <laughs> Samu I Am AI gave us an Ode to Jazz and Ghost Quartet. Is that a book? Oh, it's a painting. That's actually not too bad. It's a violin painting. I'm not sure if that fits the kids' room, though. And it's probably not modern, but we'll hang it up anyway. And we got a Just For Me bath basket. You may think that all of these items actually increase the things that we could sell, but no, not really. I'm just using them as decoration and they increase the cost of the house, which also increases our bills. So, oh, what's wrong? Oh, you're tense because of the thunderstorm. Okay, sorry. There's not much I could do about that. All right, I was hoping to work on some of the infant milestones, but we may not be able to do for that very much today since I'm going to lose five hours to practicing music, or I could risk losing all of my money. Oh no, baby needs a diaper change. Your hygiene is fine. I think it's just the diaper change. Oh, is the puppy finally aging up? We could have had the infant interact with the puppy before he aged up, but unfortunately I didn't have any time. And Bubblegum aged up into a dog. Oh, she's a small dog. That's good. It wouldn't make sense to have a really big dog in one of these small houses. Pee on caregiver milestone. Oh, joy. I got peed on. Yeah, let's put you down there. Hopefully you'll get a milestone while you're just sitting here. Because there's some milestones that infants can do by themselves. Maybe I'll try and get a couple of milestones where she can roll over. Tummy time is always good. Oh, loud noises. No, doggy. Okay, maybe I might have to tell the dog not to bark since she doesn't like the loud noise. Okay, and now the baby is crying because you need your diaper change too. Why don't you go outside? You know how to go outside. Oh, because of the thunderstorm? Okay, put the baby down and go see what's wrong with this baby. She needs to be fed. No, don't just check her. Feed her. Wow, that one was loud. Maybe I should start the music now because I may not be able to get five hours in between these kids both needing attention. Okay, she got the reach milestone. So now she can play with the toys. Play with the toys and then try to go night-night. I still can't brush this dog. Why? He is hairy. I think maybe you had to be better friends with the dog to brush the dog. Why? I guess maybe they're a little bit picky about being touched. Oh no, Una is an early riser. Great. Now don't play video games. Why are you carrying an umbrella inside? And good for Bubblegum learning not to drink from the puddle. You don't need to chat or troll the forums. Your social is not low. Make a video game. If you're going to insist on drinking your coffee and playing on the computer, at least do something useful. I'm never going to get anything done. All right, let's try for at least one more hour practicing music. Okay, that was two hours. Drink a cup of coffee, go to the bathroom, 
No, don't chat. She's working on robotics. Okay, we do not have time to be pregnant right now. Maybe we'll get pregnant on Saturday because I have a feeling that Paris is going to age up pretty soon, whether or not we want her to. Today is her birthday. We're still just regular friends, so we need to be good friends with her before she ages up. Oh, a sleep potion. That's great. We need to keep up our celebrity status because those things are going to save us. Don't check the infant first. Call in your PR request. Okay, you're awake again. Oh, I'm sorry, Bubblegum. I know it's hard because it's lightning and thundering outside. Sure. Oh, she learned to grab. Okay, so she's getting some milestones on her own. Okay, now we need to feed Una and change her diaper too. Oh, she had a blowout. Forget changing the diaper. Let's just give you a bath. I think it automatically changes her diaper when we give her a bubble bath or any sort of bath. All right, yes, the change diaper option is grayed out, so her diaper is changed. There's no need to change the diaper first and then give her a bath. Okay, feed her. What are you doing? No, don't put her down. You're going to go feed her first. Ah, uh, infants. We might just do bottle feeding. I mean, I'm a huge proponent of breastfeeding, but in The Sims, it's just annoying because it makes your hunger go down so much. Where are you going with her? Put her down there. Okay, let's go practice the violin again. Yes, Caleb. Okay, you had a good time with your friend. Oh, is she fussing again? What's wrong? Oh, she's not fussing. Okay, play with the toys then. And then go night-night. Why are you all messy? Did you roll in a puddle or something? Oh, now I can brush him. Okay, there's a diaper. Oh, there it is. The diaper must have been from when I gave her a bath. I wonder if the servo can give the dog a bath. Oh, no, she can't because there's only a shower down here. Okay. Okay, we're just going to unlock this thing up here. And why does the servo have the option to take a bath? I hope this does not break the servo because I understand that the servo can't get in the water, but maybe she can bathe. <laughs> this is probably a mistake. Okay. Well, yeah, her durability is going down really fast. That probably was a bad idea. Okay, now I have to fix the servo. See, it's already 542, and we've only done half of the hours that we need to do. Okay, at least the dog is clean. Now maybe Lilith can clean up a little bit, although that is not her aspiration. <laughs> Newborns are just so needy. Okay, we'll go ahead and feed you now. Hopefully you'll take it. Okay, at least we're good friends with Paris now, so if she ages up on her own, it's fine. Oh, come on. All right, we're going to have you come repair this. The only way this is going to work is if the robot does things. But I can't have the robot taking care of the babies. So the only thing the robot can do is clean and fix things. That's only four hours. I need still two more hours and it's 8 p.m. already. Okay, that's five hours. And Una needs to be fed. She's not complaining about it though. We must have another urn somewhere. Wolfgang. Isn't he a werewolf? I didn't think that the werewolves that were in the game from the beginning could die. It doesn't seem like you can kill Rory or her father, which are the two pack leaders. But apparently Wolfgang can die. Where are you going? Why are you going out here? No, in your bathing suit? Why? Why would you do that? Yes, go put her away in the crib. Actually, just go put her in the... In this in this thing put una in that thing do not put her in the crib <laughs> i know i bought those cribs and she'll probably never use them and she disappeared what are you doing stop doing things i don't tell you to do no you're not going to talk with una we're going downstairs to tinker okay now i have to finish my practicing it's already 11 p.m milestone are you getting some milestone laugh okay that's good that's a communication one play with the toys Toe and mouth milestone. Well, that one really wasn't necessary. Okay, finally, right before midnight. All right, since that one is finished, we don't need it anymore. How are you doing, Una? Okay, you're doing good. Let's try some tummy time. Sometimes you can do it over here in the corner and sometimes you can't. It's really weird about that. Oh no, I sent the robot out in the rain, but good she was undercover. I think that's still considered undercover. All right, please learn to lift your head. Okay, she did. And you're doing pretty good on need, so we might be able to get the rollover hopefully before this week is out. While you're doing that though, let's go ahead and spin the winning wheel for 45%. I say spin the wheel, but of course there's no wheel. I'm just doing a random number. And we got 45%, which is 13,272 simoleons. 
Now, before you think that I'm not going to have any issues with simoleons, just keep in mind that there are a lot of quests that are almost impossible to do it within a day. And then there's also the fact that when each kid moves out, they're going to be taking 20,000 simoleons with them. Oh, do we have an infant aging up? It looks like it. Okay, good. They can age up by themselves without an adult over there. And she's going to be sensitive. Great. And she's already hungry. Okay, let's stop fussing. I'm going to feed you. Hopefully your sister can get the rollover first. It doesn't look like she's going to. Probably not. If she can roll over to her back, sometimes they will roll over to their front. Okay, and what random quest are we going to be doing? Go on vacation to Selva Dorada and get at least one treasure. Okay. This is what I was telling you about. There are some that are kind of hard to do in one day. And at least I can go on vacation now since they're both infants. But yeah. Okay, she's going to go night-night. That's fine. Oh, I have the help with needs interaction now. Okay, Paris, what do you need? You need to go to sleep. Don't chat with her. Why can't you put her down to sleep? Okay, there we go. Why are you going downstairs? Why in the world did you go downstairs? You were going to go out to the pool again, weren't you? This is going to be really annoying. Why do they chat on the edge of a pool with an infant? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to have to modify one of the places in Selva Dorada to care for infants. And I'm going to get some portable infant cribs because we're going to have to go to the temple and get a treasure or we can risk losing all the money. Okay, don't play video games, come on. Let's put everything that we can in our inventory and we're going to need one with a coffee machine too. So I have to make sure that my Selva Dorada area is set up properly. We can take, oh, we can only take the bowl, not the feeder. Oh, well, that's just great. Oh, well, I'll take the pet bowl. I did discover while the sleeping bags will not fit in these boxes, they do fit in the ornate chest that we got, which is nice. So should we get a tent or just use the sleeping bags? Because I have infants. Infants can't sleep in a tent or in sleeping bags. This is going to be a problem. I can take these playthings with me, but what else do I need? This has a bunch of fruit in it, which might be handy. I guess I'll just take the box and the servo station. And yeah, we can even take our mini fridge. Okay, I don't think they make a portable coffee maker, so we will have to take one of those with us. And actually, we could probably just leave the fridge here and take the cooler. And if we're possibly going to get a treasure from Silver Dorada, I am going to get a tent. Because if I don't get a tent, what is going to happen to the servo if it rains? Okay, so I have a tent. I don't think I really need a table and chair set. What other portable things can I take with me? A shower? There's no portable toilet, but there's bushes out there that I could use. And there is the outpost shower, but you have to go all the way back to the beginning for that. So we will be taking one of these showers. You can just drag this shower into your inventory. <laughs> and we also have some hygiene potions. Anything else? What am I missing? Should I take the sleeping bags if I have a tent? I don't really need it. Actually, I have one sleeping bag on me. Okay, so if I don't feel like putting up the tent, I can just do a sleeping bag. All right, and we're going to have to get you out of there. I need to put that in my inventory. Okay, Selva Dorada, here we come. Okay, it looks like Asamo is also having babies. Why are people having so many babies? I mean, I know I turned on neighborhood stories in MC Command Center, but it seems like the chances are a little bit higher than normal. Don't feed her. I said help with needs. Use the cheat. Don't do it the hard way. Yeah, you finally get this interaction called help with needs. And it basically feeds them, changes their diaper, and gives them energy. It, I don't think it does anything for attention, fun, or hygiene, though. And that didn't seem to do very much at all. Oh, well. Going on vacation. Why are you mopping out here in the rain? Well, it's sunny now, but it was raining. First vacation milestone. Oh, is it raining here? No, it can't rain. Great. Okay, we'll have to repair the robot before we go out. And maybe we can leave the robot in the tent. Although I'm not sure a robot can even go in the tent. 
why don't I just leave the robot at the hotel, you say? Um, well, everyone's supposed to come everywhere. That's why. Okay, so yes, you can recharge, you can relax. Okay, so I can send her to the tent and it will be fine. So I want the robot to be low on charge. Um, there is no point, Sims, in putting the toilet paper that high. <laughs> okay, and we'll take one for the road because I can pick up a cup of coffee and then just put it in my pocket, basically. And it lasts for seven hours. So we have five hours for this cup of coffee and then another five hours. So we can go out for 10 hours until we get the uncomfortable moodlet. Interesting, it doesn't register that they're holding the infant when they zone in. She looks like a little monkey. Okay, put her down then. Why are you picking her back up? How dare you put me down? Okay, well, you are hungry, so I will feed you. And you are also hungry. All right, I need a mechanism. Oh, I can't place it. Maybe I can place it over here. Here we go. I know you're sad, but I can't feed both of you at the same time. Okay, it didn't seem like there was very much for sale. Okay, don't fuss. I want to pick you up. There's only one vendor. Oh, we might as well get an archaeology table. Maybe we'll need it one day. Liquid Rush. Okay, actually, I want to buy all of those. Okay, as soon as I finish the mechanism. Oh, why did you drink your coffee? Great. And <laughs> that means we only have five hours. Okay, what's wrong with you? Okay, you're just trying to go to sleep. Okay, that's fine. And you're asleep. Good. Okay, after I finish my coffee, I guess maybe he has coffee. He looks like he just has food though. Yeah. Okay, order drink. Oh, good. There's some... No, wait. Yerba mate? Is that coffee? I don't know if any of these are coffee. I think they are, but I can't order them to go. Okay, so that's not going to be helpful. This one also has coffee, but probably cannot order to go. Well, I don't even know if Yerba Mate is coffee. <laughs> I think it is. Thanks a lot for drinking your coffee. All right, let's go as soon as we finish this mechanism. Guess it wouldn't hurt to wash up a little bit. Oh, did you finish it? Yeah, the reason why I did that is because she can self-enhance, and that's what, something that she will do. Okay, forget washing our hands. Let's just go. Okay, I will set up camp at the trailhead for the robot and maybe the dog. First trip to a park. Okay, <laughs> that's a milestone. Yeah, you can't do anything with the infants for the tents. Oh, I just thought of something. How am I going to take two infants with me? This is not going to work. I might have run into a quest that I can't actually do because I have infants. In which case, you know, hey, I'll just spin the losing wheel. Okay, you're going to go recharge in the tent because I'm sure you won't get rained on. Why do they immediately try to go night-night? <laughs> I want to actually select that, but okay. It's 11 a.m. and we haven't even gotten through the first door yet. So yeah, this is not going to go well. As Zero rounds the corner, there is a stillness in the air. She looks up and notices a bed of sloths watching her. Zero is distracted for a moment and walks into a low-hanging branch, realizing a small band of fiery flies which fly at the sloths and begin to bother them, scorching their fur and spots. What should Zero do? We have no Selvadoradan culture skill, and we don't have a fire quencher. So if we let nature be, what's going to happen is that we're going to get some kind of bad result. So I guess we'll try the chances. Zero starts making noise as she embarks on a local dance, hoping to distract the flies from the sloths. The moves feel awkward and Zero trips as the flies redouble their attacks. The sloths become agitated and as they shake the trees, a few branches break off and strike Zero on the head, who runs away before anything worse can happen. Okay. So I guess we just banged our head. Yeah, that's not that bad. Okay, so technically they are still in the same zone, which is actually a bad thing because I can't just bring them here. I can't take care of their needs if I'm not with them and I can't carry two infants at once. Ah, wait, I can travel through with, although I am on the other side. So I need to go back and bring them. Maybe I can do that. No, no, that didn't work. Not at all. Okay. Okay, I think I've been approaching this all wrong. I think Zero needs to stay back and care for the babies, and the robot needs to try and make progress. So we'll see if this might work. Okay, that one is blocked off, so that means we have to go all the way across the bridge. But yes, it looks like the robot can clear the path too. Actually, maybe I should grill something. 
Lilit was forging through some thick vines a little too enthusiastically when her machete flew right out of her hand and was lost forever. Great. No, don't use the computer out here. <laughs> Mysterious pedestal. Lilith pulls back a curtain of vines and discovers a strange clearing in the jungle. There is a pedestal with a relic on top surrounded by a circle of totems. The totems' faces are fixed in a permanent snarl that strikes fear in Lilith's heart. Should she turn back or check out the totems? Leave it, check out totems, or disarm totems? Well, we have fire foam, so we're going to disarm the totems. Those totems will definitely attack Lilith if she gets too close. She takes a gamble and tries covering the totems with fire foam. It works and totally prevents the trap from triggering. She gets to walk away with a cool relic as a prize. Okay, are you traveling through? No. So we got a chaos relic. I was about to say hopefully when the shortcuts is open because I don't want to have to go all the way through the temple to get a chest and that way is through the temple. So next, we could go to the bass. I think this way is probably the best. We have to clear the path with our hands, though. Maybe we could also wake up Una and try and do a little bit of tummy time. And then we'll feed her. Or maybe we could do the help with needs. Oh, rollover to back is unlocked. Good. Then the next one she can get is rollover to tummy. And then she can work on some of the milestones herself. Well, that helped a little bit. She can also practice sitting, but I think we're going to keep on tummy time until she can roll over the other way. Okay, Bubblegum has been bitten by two squirrels. Where are you, Bubblegum? All the way over here. I think he keeps going into these bushes, which means we're going to have to get a wellness treat later on. Okay, Paris is awake. Paris really doesn't need too much. We can change her diaper. And of course, she just... Okay, and maybe we should feed her. Oh no, is it starting to rain? Why does it say open umbrella? Oh, rats, it's raining. Don't open your umbrella. I'm sorry, but you have to go through. <laughs> Where is Lilith? Okay, I don't think she traveled through. I think she just went to sleep. What's up with that? I was about to say, why is it not working? Jaguar in the jungle. Lilith hears a growl and slowly turns to see a jaguar patrolling through the jungle with something shiny in its jaws. The cat hasn't spotted Lilith yet. Should she stop moving and wait for it to leave or try to scare it? Okay, she has no fitness skill, but she's going to try to jump scare the jaguar. Lilith jumps and grabs a nearby branch with gymnastics grace. She swings over the branch and kicks the shiny object out of the jaguar's mouth. The jaguar runs away and Lilith finds a shiny reward. Okay. The next stop along the path appears to be a natural pool. It might be the Omaskin Royal Bass. Would you like to travel there now? Yes. And then we're going to take everyone with us. Okay, now we quickly have to open up the tent and Lilith has to get in the tent because it's raining. Oh no, there's another thing I have to open. Great. Well, try and clear the path with my hands. Okay, good. She got in there. I hope that her durability doesn't go down anymore because she's in the tent now and it's not raining in the tent. This may or may not work. It's 6 p.m. We still have six hours to get through this. Carnivorous Vines. Zero is having a really enjoyable hike in the jungle when she suddenly hears a sim screaming a short ways off. She sprints in the direction of the screaming and finds a sim that is being menaced by carnivorous plant. What should she do? Grab sim and run create a distraction. Well, handiness skill leads to better results and my handiness skill is maxed. So create a distraction. Using only a few items from her pack, Zero creates a surprisingly realistic dummy in only a few seconds. She tosses the dummy in the direction of the vines. Surprisingly, the carnivorous plant takes the bait, and the sims use the opportunity to make an escape. The other sim is so grateful that he gives Zero a bunch of stuff he collected in the jungle. Okay, hopefully one of them is a toilet. We got some fossils. Well, I think there's a treasure in this area. Yes, there's a treasure box. I'm going to count this as opening a treasure chest, even though this is not the temple treasure. Is there a place to pee first? No. Great, going to pee my pants. Judith Ford, okay. I've called to inform you that your great, great grands. Yeah, we know what this says. This basically says that, do you want to get married? Um, I don't think the robot well, maybe the robots can get married. They just can't have kids. Um, Under what conditions? Sure, we'll take the 2,500. You can get a whole lot more if you get married, but I'm not trying to get the robot married. Okay, if we open this, we're just going to go home. And we found a treasure in the chest, which counts. Um, That's not a treasure. It's a plasma bat bait. Is that it? 
Zero found some wondrous items in the treasure chest. She gained some simoleons and put some adventure gear in her inventory. That's not a treasure. I thought there was supposed to be like a plate in there or a frog. Could have sworn that I found treasures in these things before. There's no treasure in that chest. I opened a chest, but that's not a treasure chest. Oh, come on. There's got to be a treasure chest around here somewhere. I guess not. Well, there's a pea bush. I walked completely by that. Okay. Well, it looks like she's going to go pee in it anyway. Um, never mind. Looks like she doesn't know where she's going. Okay, so we'll send her back through the little thing because there's no pea bush around here. I thought that there was a treasure chest in here. That's not a treasure chest. Plasma bat bait. That's it. And I got some simoleons. Wow. Okay, come on, come on, come on. All right, what are you doing? You're hungry. Let's just go back to sleep because you don't need to be awake right now. And neither do you. Okay, use the bathroom before you pee your pants. You're not even pregnant and you're going to pee your pants. Okay, we can still go through the temple, but I don't think we can get all the way through it in just three hours. Okay, Lilith, come out. Yeah, I know we're going to have to repair Lilith. Okay, I think all we're going to have time to do is repair Lilith and feed the twins because we don't have enough time to go through the temple. And I thought that other area would have a treasure in it, not just a chest, but I guess it doesn't. I could have sworn that it had one, but the ones the treasures come in, the boxes are more colorful and it doesn't count unless you get a treasure. I don't think that just opening any chest should count. Okay, so now you're full charge. And let's see, I think one of the kids was hungry. Oh, yes, she's hungry. We need to feed her. Oh, I'm missing two robot salvage parts, so I can't even enhance. That stinks. Okay, don't cry. I was going to pick you up and feed you. All right, let's see how far we can get through the temple. And I'm about to be attacked by plasma bats. Joy. Okay, and I couldn't avoid them. Oh, actually, it says Zero sees them coming and with a kick of adrenaline prepares to cash in all of that time working on her body's fitness to dodge whatever attacks they may have planned. Okay, her fitness is not that great. She's only level two. Well, I guess these two are talking to each other. Oh, now you're hungry. There's no way. It's only 10 minutes left. I'm, I might as well stop. Let's just go home. All right, so we spin the losing wheel and we lose 67%, which is 28,436 simoleons. Still, we have 14,000 simoleons. Oh no, and Bubblegum needs a vet treat. So we'll order some pet treats. And it sounds like someone is getting a milestone. Are you going to roll over, Una? Roll over onto your tummy or sit up? Which one? Roll over onto your tummy. Okay, now you can do tummy time yourself. Okay, Paris, I don't know why you're fussing. Your needs are completely full. Let's go put you upstairs in your own little play mat. Okay, we may have lost, but I have to admit, this thing looks pretty cool. All right, we need to get some coffee. And Paris got the reach milestone, so now she can play with the toys. And she can also coo. Okay, the next day's quest is to get a celestial crown and use three crystals in it. Um, well, I guess that's an easy one. Where is the dog? I'm trying to give him a treat. Okay, he's bringing a present. Okay, did you give him the treat or not? No, I don't think you did. Quit running around. No zoomies. Stop it, Bubblegum. You're sick. I need to give you a treat. Poor Bubblegum. Look at how sick you are. Why are you running around? Okay, I can't give you a bath. I guess I will give you a bath with zero. Why don't you drink your coffee first? That's not something you can multitask. I have to watch it with drinking coffee. I cannot tell her to do anything else because she will stop drinking the coffee and go do the other thing instead. What are you doing? No, don't praise. Come in here and do your upgrade. Okay, we need to change Una's diaper and then we'll feed her. Apparently she pees a lot on the changing table. All right, and then we should practice some sitting. Okay, let's see if Una can sit up. Um, not in a firm. Okay. Okay, while I'm thinking about it, we should get a celestial crown and we have to use three crystals in it. Now, I have a couple of crystals from various sources. I have two. Oh, I actually have three. Why are you always crying, Paris? There's nothing wrong with you. Play with the toys. Okay, maybe if we take her outside, there will be enough room. Now Paris can grab. No, I still can't practice sitting. Why not? And it's New Year's Eve. 
Okay, finally we're able to practice sitting. Yes, you're going to vacuum right over the infant. Okay, one more time practicing sitting and then you can go night night. If we can find a spot to do it, that is. And of course, she's trying to sit up. Let's see if she can do it. Oh, is she going to sit up? Yeah, she has sit up by herself. Okay, now you probably just need to sleep. I'm just going to let them sit in their activity maps. Okay, now she's creeping. That's just not, that's not just sit up. That's also creep. Okay, then we need to feed you. Paris doesn't like being held. Um, But in order to get fed, you have to be held until you can learn how to sit up. Don't cry. Just eat. Oh, is she babbling? I thought you were supposed to go night-night. Okay, Una decided to babble. That's one of the milestones that actually needs to be unlocked. Okay, now we need to mount a crystal. This one, when slotted into the crystal crown, doubles the chance of finding crystals in the world and recharges the bladder need. Thirst for vampires, water for plant sims. Oh, that's the one thing that affects thirst for a vampire. I've never seen anything that actually fills thirst other than plasma. When slotted into the crystal crown, this crystal clears the sim's mind of uncomfortable energies. And this one clears it tense. Okay, I'm never going to be really tense or, or uncomfortable. So we'll just use those really quickly. Luna, try for the baby Luna. Are we going to do this again? Although last time it wasn't Luna, it was Morgan. Okay, so we're going to wear this crown. Oh, what's wrong? You should go night night. Oh no, you are not waking up the kids. Bubblegum, I'm sorry, but waking up is the worst one. I don't want you to wake up the kids. Okay, at least you learned it really quick. Why are you over here chatting? She's always chatting. Let's go back here and sleep. And fortunately, if she says something to someone, I think they can get into my house. Okay, let's put a different one in. Which one did I use before? Turquoise? I don't even remember. Okay, we'll use alabaster next, which is for tents. And then we're going to take it right out. Okay, then we're going to put in the turquoise one. Maybe I should make something to eat. Okay, this one will make me not have to use the bathroom, which is kind of awesome. I think we should try and get pregnant with this one because that would just be awesome. Shinolite, uncommon. That's the one that I need. Okay, let's brush the dog. Oh, I need a high chair. I didn't realize I don't have one. And let's try some ice cream. Yeah, not usually a good food, but hey, it's The Sims. Oh, she loved the ice cream, of course. And she can nap in the high chair just like the toddlers. Why did you stop going to the bathroom? I guess because she finished the drink. Okay, the high chair is not overpowered for napping like it is for toddlers. If you put a toddler in the high chair, they will nap like they're passed out until their energy bar is completely full. But it seems that the, the infants only get the two up arrows instead of the three, like the toddlers get three. Okay, what can I do? Maybe I should work on my party spirit or making a resolution. That would be good. And we'll negotiate a bonus, which will get up our performance. Let's see if we can do tummy time with Paris. Can you lift your head, Paris? Good job. Okay, now you're very hungry. Now we want Una to quickly as possible get to toddler, but Paris shouldn't be that far behind because we don't want to have three infants or we definitely don't want four. Okay, you're using your diaper and then we're going to probably give you a bath. Well, maybe you don't need a bath. Why are you going downstairs? Change the kid's diaper. Okay, I guess we'll try tummy time downstairs. Once she gets the rollover to back milestone, it's possible for her to get the rollover to front milestone on her own, and then she can do tummy time by herself. And Una's awake. And here's a Samu. What are you doing here? Okay, let's give her some rice porridge. This is what you miss if you try to do the 100 baby challenge with only two milestones per section, is that a lot of the infant functionality is not unlocked without reaching multiple milestones in all sections. She has the babble, so that's good enough. She needs to get the one where she has the pincer grasp and she needs to be able to stand. What kind of activities can we do? Um, I'm not sure. There's a bounce activity. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's bouncing. Okay, that's not very fun. Oh, we can practice standing. We don't really need the crawling milestone. I will be satisfied with standing. 
My practice standing. Hmm, maybe she needs more tummy time. Okay, is she going to be able to creep now? Oh, pincer grasp. Okay, that's one we needed, but not the only one. Okay, we need to change her diaper. Go change Una's diaper. Why are you standing down here? Okay, just go upstairs then. Change her diaper. I know you're tired, Una, but let me change your diaper first. Okay, that's probably all Una can handle for tonight because she is really tired. And that's going to be the end of another week. So we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 64%, which is 11,910 simoleons. So we end this week with 30,000 simoleons. That's been a week in the 100 Baby Challenge. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.